Right now we have the biggest discount on Red Dead Online Standalone Edition. I mean, since the moment this game began to cost 20 bucks back in February. And it's a really interesting situation, but let me explain. So yesterday Steam Summer Sale has begun, and there are lots of games with a discount for PC, obviously. I mean, it looks like pretty much all games has a discount right now there. Anyway, I decided to check Red Dead Online Standalone Edition, and I was expected to see some sort of a like 25% discount discount, just like it happened on different platforms previously. And I was surprised to see 50% discount, so now Red Dead Online Standalone costs on average 10 bucks. There are obviously regional prices, but average price is 10 bucks. And it's the biggest discount on this game since February. I remind you that Red Dead Online Standalone was released on December, and back then the price was 5 bucks. It basically was 20 bucks with 75% discount. They had this discount for 2.5 months until February 15th and then game started to cost 20 bucks, which is kinda too much in my opinion for Red Dead Online. You would rather buy Red Dead Redemption 2 with some sort of a discount usually and receive Red Dead Online as a free edition. But anyway, they had this price for more than 4 months and the biggest discount during this time was like 25% if I remember correctly. To be honest to me, it looked like Rockstar don't want anyone to buy Red Dead Online standalone for some reason. And now we have this 50% discount, which looks more like a reasonable offer. And the weirdest thing is that this huge discount is available on Steam, while usually Rockstar is not in a good relationship with Steam. I remind you that when Red Dead Redemption 2 was released on a PC, it was released on Epic Store and on Rockstar Launcher, and it appeared on Steam only one month ago. And it's not the only example, I mean GTA 5 was free of charge at Epic Store at some point. But now we have 50% discount on Steam and full price on Epic Store. Looks kinda weird. Especially since Red Dead Redemption 2 full game has usual discount during this sale. 33% and it's nothing unusual or interesting here. So it's like Rockstar changed their mind and now they want people to play Red Dead Online. Maybe, you know, to bring some additional attraction before summer update, who knows. By the way, this offer ends on 8th of July, just like summer sale in general, but it's kinda interesting because, you know, the most probable date for release of the summer update in Red Dead Online is 6th of July. By the way, which is kinda interesting, it looks like this biggest since February discount on Red Dead Online standalone edition has no effect at the moment, like, at all. I haven't seen anyone talking about it on Twitter, Reddit, forums, on YouTube, like, anywhere, in Discord, like, complete silence. Plus, I've checked the amount of concurrent players for Red Dead Online on SteamDB, and it only decreased yesterday. In any way, it's a pretty reasonable offer and good opportunity for you to buy this game if, let's say, you played it on a console and now you want to try Red Dead Online on a PC as well. Or you want to create a second account. That's actually something that I'm going to do. I will create new account to test some stuff and not gonna share my nickname with anyone to avoid modders and cheaters. Yes, there is still such problem on a PC, despite the fact that recently Rockstar started to do at least some something about it. Or for example, you can buy Red Dead Online for your friends, so you can play with them together. Spoiler, don't do it, it's not gonna work, they still not gonna play with you just because this game is not for everyone. But even if you're not interested in purchasing another copy of Red Dead Online, these news are still pretty good. I mean, at least for me, it looks like another indication of the fact that Rockstar is still cares about Red Dead Online and has some expectation about this game, and maybe, you know, they are preparing for some good summer update, preparing audience for this update. Of course, they would rather prepare us for the summer update by sharing some details and maybe release date, who knows, but you know, they do what they do. By the way, please let me know in the comments what do you think, whether I'm too optimistic or not, and in any way, that's all information that I wanted to share. I hope you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, до свидания.